On one of my floating trips across the room, I discovered a window. I could not jump through it and go outside. In fact, outside looked very strange. A huge blue and white thing covered nearly the whole sky. I watched the blue and the white thing for a long time until it grew very small and moved out of the view. Then I saw lots of little white points and lights that looked familiar like what my human friends used to look at when they were looking at the night sky. What do they call them? Twinkle, twinkle? No, stars! Yes, stars! They were stars! Then something bright appeared! Wow! It was the moon! I had never seen it quite like this before. It looked much bigger. Those dark areas looked like shadows. Round holes everywhere. Hey, they may be those craters. Let us go to the center of the solar system. Do you mean the sun? Yes, the star of our solar system. What do you mean by the star of our solar system? Every star that you see in the sky is a sun. Some stars even have planets going around them. Oh, we have come too close. It is too hot. We must keep distance. What are those black spots on the face of the sun? They are sunspots. Do you know that the sun produces incredible amount of heat and light by burning hydrogen gas inside it? You mean the sun is made up of the same gases that we use in balloons? Yes, indeed. But it is the only member of the solar family. Dad, what are Saturn's rings made of? Trillions of pieces of ice, rocks and dust that continuously keep orbiting Saturn. My dear daughters, now look at the fifth planet from the sun, Jupiter. It has been named after the god of gods. It is not rocky. It is made up mainly of gases. Hence, it is also called a gaseous planet. Do you know? Jupiter has as many as 63 moons. Wow! This giant planet completes its one revolution around the sun in 12 Earth years and it rotates the fastest among planets once in less than 10 hours. Jupiter's one year is equal to 